Hey guys, and welcome to the very first Whispered Facts video in the series. In this first episode, I'm going to be whispering facts about the famous Dutch artist Vincent van Gogh. So lay back, relax, and let the facts frenzy begin as I whisper facts about Vincent van Gogh. Vincent Willem van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who became one of the most famous and influential figures in the history of Western art. In a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, including around 860 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. They include landscapes, still lifes, portraits and self-portraits, and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic, impulsive and expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundations of modern art. He was not commercially successful, and his suicide at 37 came after years of depression and poverty. Born into an upper middle class family, Van Gogh drew as a child and was serious, quiet and thoughtful. As a young man, he worked as an art dealer, often travelling, but became depressed after he was transferred to London. He turned to religion and spent time as a Protestant missionary in southern Belgium. He drifted in, in ill health and solitude before taking up painting in 1881, having moved back home with his parents. His younger brother, Theo, supported him financially, and the two kept a long correspondence by letter. His early works, mostly still lifes and depictions of peasant labourers, contain few signs of the vivid colour that distinguished his later work. In 1886, he moved to Paris. As his work developed, he created a new approach to still lifes and local landscapes. His paintings grew brighter as he developed a style that became fully realised during his stay in the south of France in 1888. During this period, he broadened his subject matter to include series of olive trees, wheat fields and sunflowers. Van Gogh suffered from psychotic episodes and delusions and though he worried about his mental stability, he often neglected his physical health, did not eat properly and drank heavily. One night, after an angry confrontation with a friend, in a rage, he severed part of his own left ear. He spent time in psychiatric hospitals following this incident. His depression persisted, and on the 27th of July, 1890, Van Gogh is believed to have shot himself in the chest with a revolver. He died from his injuries two days later. Van Gogh was commercially unsuccessful during his lifetime, selling only one painting for a mere 400 francs. He was considered a madman and a failure. He became famous after his suicide and exists in the public imagination as a misunderstood genius. Where discourses on madness and creativity converge. His reputation began to grow in the early 20th century and he attained widespread, critical, commercial and popular success over the ensuing decades. 
and is remembered as an important but tragic painter whose troubled personality typifies the romantic ideal of the tortured artist. Today, Van Gogh's works are among the world's most expensive paintings to have ever been sold, and his legacy is honoured by a museum in his name, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam which holds the world's largest collection of his paintings and drawings. Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853 in the Netherlands to Theodorus van Gogh, a country minister, and Anna Cornelia Carbentus, an artist. He was named after his paternal grandfather, but the name had actually been used for a child born previously to his parents, an older brother who had died at childbirth one year prior to his own birth. Van Gogh would have been aware of this fact and would have been seen his brother's tombstone with his name on it. He was the eldest of six children. His younger brother, Theo, would go on to become an art dealer and would end up being the primary and often sole supporter of his elder brother and his art. Much of Van Gogh's success can be attributed to his sister-in-law, Joanna, the wife of his brother Theo, who committed herself to forwarding his legacy after his death. Arguably, Van Gogh's most famous work, Starry Night, was completed while he was residing in a mental asylum, where he was recuperating from a nervous breakdown. At one point, Vincent considered becoming a minister like his father. He studied for almost a year to prepare for the entrance exam to the School of Theology in Amsterdam. Ultimately, he refused to take the Latin portion of the exam because he considered it a dead language for peasants. This led to his denial from the school. Van Gogh was known for having a strong and difficult personality Friends and colleagues felt that he alienated many fellow painters with his argumentative nature. Van Gogh briefly worked as a missionary in the coal mining region of Belgium. During this time, he experienced a spiritual awakening that inspired him to relinquish nearly all of his worldly possessions and begin living as a pauper. Church authorities felt this was inappropriate for a representative of the church and he was discharged from his position. Van Gogh was largely self-taught and only received formal artistic training for about four months, just a few years before his death. His paintings were often completed relatively quickly, as his style was spontaneous and intuitive, which gave some viewers pause. On this point, he once told his brother, when anyone says that such and such painting is done too quickly, you can reply that they have looked at it too fast. Although he had suffered from a degree of mental illness throughout his life, his mental well-being fell into deep decline in the late 1880s. During this time, he is said to have eaten his paints and sometimes drank turpentine. After the ear-cutting incident, Van Gogh was admitted to hospital. 
Once he recovered from immense blood loss, he was discharged. Unfortunately, he fell into a deep depression. To help with this, he would be at home during the day, but spend his nights at the hospital. Towards the end of his life, fellow citizens of his town signed a petition saying that he was a danger to the community. This led him to commit himself to an asylum. Van Gogh ultimately committed suicide by shooting himself in the chest. Unfortunately, it was not a clean shot and he did not die until nearly 30 hours later. Vincent's brother Theo died mere months after him, and Theo was initially buried in Utrecht, Netherlands. To commemorate the two brothers' exceptionally close and special relationship, Theo's wife had her husband exhumed and reburied next to Vincent. Much of Van Gogh's work has been lost, as many people who owned his work initially thought it to be worthless. His own mother is said to have disposed of full crates of his paintings. Van Gogh thought that nighttime was much more alive and colourful than daytime so he sometimes would paint with candles lining his hat so he could see. Vincent van Gogh is remembered as, apart from a brilliant painter, a ridiculously fast walker. From November 1881 to July 1890, van Gogh produced close to 900 paintings. At the age of 27, he abandoned his unsuccessful careers as an art dealer and a missionary and concentrated on his paintings and drawings. When he began painting, he used peasants and farmers as models and then flowers, landscapes and himself because he was too poor to pay his subjects. He wrote nearly as many letters as he created paintings. Van Gogh composed nearly 800 letters in his lifetime, mainly to his brother and closest friend Theo. Vincent Van Gogh died on July the 29th, 1890 from an infection due to the self-inflicted gunshot wound. His brother Theo later wrote to their sister Elizabeth, which stated, In the last letter which he wrote me, and which dates from some four days before his death, it says, I try to do as well as certain painters whom I have greatly loved and admired. People should realize that he was a great artist something which often coincides with being a great human being. In the course of time, this will surely be acknowledged, and many will regret his early death. Van Gogh created one of the most expensive paintings in history. His portrait of Dr. Gachet, which he painted in 1890, sold for $82.5 million in 1990, which is astonishing considering the financial hardship he suffered for most of his life. On top of his mental health problems, Van Gogh also suffered from epilepsy and hallucinations. Van Gogh painted over 30 self-portraits and recently a grasshopper was found stuck in one of his paintings. The paint kept it preserved for over 100 years. Van Gogh did not have the best luck with women. At one point he proposed to his widowed cousin and actively 
pursued her, but she refused. It was mostly due to the fact Vincent wasn't able to support himself. And on another occasion, he and his neighbor's daughter fell in love, but their families disapproved of them getting married. The woman tried to overdose as a result, but Van Gogh rushed her to a hospital, which saved her life. Well guys, that is it for this episode of Whispered Facts. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and find it relaxing. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell as well, as it will help the channel to grow. Thank you for joining me for this video, and until next time, rest easy, sleep well, and I'll see you again very soon for another video. And